Welcome back to Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin. We're handgun hunting at Wade Middleton's Deer Camp in Brackettville, Texas with Tony Milley from Smith & Wesson Performance Center. So the next day, uh, after getting the first one down, we went to a, a permanent structure uh, blind that, that Wade's got set up. And I'll tell you what, there were a lot of animals in there. We must have had, I, I don't know, anywhere from seven to 12 bucks at, at any given time. It's hard to keep track of them all. Uh, had a couple small does. There was one buck in there, was, uh, we call him the bully, because he was, he was really picking on everybody else, you know, giving him the horn. He, he, he was really taking charge. So uh, we looked at him a couple times, and he was an eight pointer, and we decided to pass. We figured, you know, we still got a couple days to go. Let's see if we can find something bigger. As you fast forward to this afternoon's uh, conditions, light, light verbal winds. Temperature is about 82, and we've got a big full moon rising tonight. I expect these mature deer probably to get on their feet, you know, in the last hour, hour and a half of the day. Uh, we're going back to the exact same stand we set at this morning because we saw so much, you know, pre-rut activity. Deer working scrapes, chasing each other, posturing. We saw fights there, and the scouting cameras show that it's a you know, about anything could show up here at any given time. So the confidence is really high there, and it's a perfect setup for the handgun that Tony's hunting with. You know, he's got a 460 out of the Smith & Wesson Performance Center that he's gonna be using, and probably our longest shot in this scenario could be 60, 65 yards right in his wheelhouse with that red dot on there. So we're gonna settle in, let the sun go down, and see what comes out, and maybe we'll get lucky. We get into the blinds, get all set up, and we, we couldn't have been there more than 10 minutes and this, this little four-pointer come out. And the next thing you know, a couple of does come out and uh, then the bully comes back. He's walking around, pushing everybody around. The bully's standing right out in front of us and this bigger deer comes in. Right away the, the bully is, you know, he's all puffed up and all of a sudden his head goes down and he starts cowering to this guy. So we know, we know who's in charge now. Knock them down like that. That is awesome. <laughs> that is a big old mature deer. He already clenched his teeth. Yeah, it's neat just to watch them come in and how they interact and how they react. And you know, that other deer that we sit and watch this morning and then this afternoon, he was a bully, you know, yeah. running everything yeah. around. And when this guy came in, who's you know a couple years older, he cowed down to him right away. Man, there wasn't any doubt who was the most dominant buck. Thank you, sir. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> Great shot there. Buck down. Whitetail hunting with a handgun at its finest. Ready? One, two, three. 